All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to inspect your shaft sleeve and replace your seal kit on the smaller bearing assembly for the Series 60 oilable bearing assembly. To get to this point, if you, if you haven't gotten to this point before, you might want to watch one of the videos I've done before. When you get to this point, this is where we'll get started. First, I'm going to remove the impeller. Screwdriver, ratchet. Sometimes they're tough to spin, so what I'll do is I'll take my screwdriver into the vein. A little bit of pressure down. Undo the impeller nut. Now you'll notice when I take the ratchet off of here that the impeller nut is an acorn nut. Some are like that, some are flat. It, it doesn't matter, it works for all of them. Um, and what's in here is an acorn nut and a little brass washer. <coughs> also, if you'll notice, my impeller is going to come right off. Some of them are very difficult to take off. All right, you've watched me take the sticky impeller off of the shaft. Mine comes right off. We'll just set it aside. We have the impeller washer for the back side of the impeller and the spring. This is what we're changing because the bearing assembly or because the seal leaked, we're assuming. So we'll show you how to change the seal kit. So we don't need to save that because it comes with the new seal kit. With this bearing assembly, I just pry them off because we're replacing them. We don't care if we break them, doesn't matter. All right, so we'll take the screwdriver, the top of the ceramic, between that and the carbon and just pry it up. If you notice it breaks apart. I'll just get this boot off of here. If you notice, the gasket came with it. So we'll take all this apart. I'll throw the gasket away. You shouldn't reuse it. Get a new one. And then I like to take it and turn it upside down and get the white ceramic out. If it doesn't come out, just take a small screwdriver and pry it out. There you go. And if you notice, the little rubber gasket or boot on the bottom of the ceramic came with it. And here's the white ceramic. So we're going to throw all this away and then we'll get started with the inspection and some tips and some ideas. This bearing assembly and smaller, all of them that take oil, for myself it just doesn't make sense to rebuild them if they need a new cover, a uh, plate, along with the front bearing, the time that you're going to invest in rebuilding it, you're just going to spend a little bit more money for a new one with a good warranty. I don't rebuild them at this point in time. You can't, it's easy to refurbish them. I just don't rebuild them. So we're going to start first with the inspection of the bearing assembly. Obviously, again, mine is new, so there's not going to be any wear that I can show you on camera, but we're going to run with it anyways. The first thing I like to do at this point in time, you've got the seal off. The shaft is raw coming through the cover plate. First thing I like to do to make sure that you can rebuild it without redoing the cover plate is check the shaft for end play and side play. End play is normal to about a sixteenth of an inch. If it's any more than that, the bearings are probably bad on the bearing assembly. Buy a new one. If there's any side play of the shaft, if it moves any which way this way, the bearings are probably bad. Buy a new bearing assembly. It's not worth the time to rebuild it. Mine is new. There's no side play. And this play is good. So we're just going to change the seal kit. We're going to clean up the shaft sleeve. And then we're going to inspect this little ring in here. Again, I've, I've done this on a couple of videos. If this ring is in good shape, it's got two dimples on it, and it holds the ceramic in place, so it does not spin. 
If it's in good shape, don't replace it. If it's in tough shape on this bearing assembly, you have to take it completely apart and put it back together after you get the new brass ring in. I don't suggest you do it. It's just not worth the time that you're going to invest to do it. So everything is good on this bearing assembly. I'm going to leave that brass ring in place. If you do decide to do it, the brass ring, the dimples go up so the gasket fits down inside the bracket. So we're just going to run with it from here and put the seal and inspect the shaft sleeve, clean it up, get it put back together for you. All right, we've done the inspection. The brass ring is in good shape. For the video, we'll pretend that this, the shaft sleeve is a little gummed up. It's not pitted. It's in good shape, but you still have to clean it up to put the new seal kit back on. So what we'll do is we'll get our emery cloth. We'll put it on its side. We'll take the emery cloth and we'll wrap it around the shaft sleeve. With my left hand, I'll grab it where the coupler attaches to that shaft. All right, the shaft sleeve is cleaned up. Get it wiped off a little bit. All right, we'll get our seal kit in here. Directions, we don't follow them again, we do it Tom's way. All right, we've got the white ceramic and the brass ring. Again, the brass ring we're leaving in place because it's in good shape. I'm gonna set that aside. White ceramic, grooved on the back side so you put the two smooth surfaces together. So we'll set that down like that. Black rubber gasket that goes down inside where the shaft comes through the bearing assembly. Then the carbon side and spring. And if you notice, the carbon came out of this one. So I'm gonna try to insert it back in here before we get going any farther. If it falls out, I'll show you when we go to install it how to keep going without having to worry about it. First thing I do is I take the rubber boot, the flat rubber boot that goes down in here. We drop it over the shaft. Let it fall into place. Take your screwdriver. It goes under the dimples like so. Okay. The next piece will be the white ceramic. Give you a shot of it on the, on the black, John. The back side of it is grooved so you don't use it against the carbon side of the seal. So we'll flip it over and we'll drop it in place. The flat side of the ceramic goes where the dimples are, right over the shaft. Drop it in place. That keeps it from spinning. Now we're ready to put the carbon side on. So we'll get the carbon side ready, the impeller spring, the cap screw in the washer and the backside impeller washer, impeller. Block of wood, because it's a sleeve bearing type bearing assembly. You have to keep the sleeve up in the assembly. Under there, shaft onto the block of wood. Keeping the, the shaft up in the bearing assembly, bearing frame off of your workbench. You don't need to put pressure on it. It'll be fine for now. I'll show you how to tighten up the seal shortly. We'll balance it. We'll get our soap. Put some soap on the shaft sleeve. And in, like in my prior videos, you don't have to worry about not touching anything. As long as your hands are somewhat decent and clean, you're not going to affect the seal kit at all. Lots of soap. The slipperier, the easier. Now we'll take the, t the carbon side, soap in the boot, make it good and slippery because it's not fun. Now I'm going to drop it over the shaft, if the carbon falls off or out of this outer brass ring, I'll show you what to do. These can be tough, so here we go, over the shaft down on, and there goes the carbon. So I'll show you how to do this. On these smaller ones, it's a little bit more picky. Center the carbon as best you can. Match the two dimples on this upper brass 
when you push down on it with your fingers, match it up with the carbon side of the seal. Watch carefully. As you push it down, if it goes over, you know you caught the two dimples and your seal kit is perfectly put together. Now what we'll do is we'll clean off the soap. Okay, and this is the part where I like to balance it on the black, block of wood. Take a healthy screwdriver. And John, I'm going to move this a little bit close to me so it might screw up your picture. Resting against my beer belly. Again, keeping it close to you, holding it firm. Inner rubber ring, inner brass ring, flat screwdriver on the edge, a nice light tap. All we're doing is seating that rubber boot down a little harder, making sure it stays in place when we go to install the rest of everything. Okay, keeping it balanced on the shaft on the block of wood. Impeller spring. Impeller washer for the back side. Here comes the impeller. Line up your keyway. Set it in place. Now, we're going to, both hands outside of this, we're going to slam that impeller down, bottom it out on top of the shaft sleeve, get our impeller nut and washer in place. We'll go from there. Here we go. All right, holding it in place, impeller washer, acorn nut, drop it in place, and I missed. All right, we'll finger tight it <clears throat> while holding the impeller in place. We'll get our ratchet and we'll tighten it. Now I'm going to get it snug like so <clears throat> and I'll take it off the block of wood. The seal is set in place. We'll lay it down, take our screwdriver and set it in the vein and just snug it up. And it's all put back together. You're ready to put it back into service. <clears throat> Make sure you clean this edge up. Put your new gasket in place using soap or something sticky to hold it in place. And then quickly before you put it into place, what I'll show you is where to add the oil and what the oil uh, wicking clips look like on the bearing assembly itself. Here's your oil well cover. And if you notice, John, I'll come to your side here. It's a little slot for you to stick your screwdriver in. Just turn it and grab it. And some of them can be tough to get out. Now, if you watch, as I pull this out, this is the spring load for the cap to hold it in place. These two prongs right here go down over the bearings, as you can see where the wicking is to hold the wicking in place. This is a good time to inspect your wicking. I'll rotate that close to you, John. If your wicking's dark, green, discolored, black, replace it. All right, we're gonna put the oil well cover back on. Of course, my gasket's floating all over the place. I'll just hold it in place for now. Oil well cover. I like the spring-loaded part opening towards the volute. It doesn't matter which way you put it in. You can only put it in two ways, but we'll insert it, squeezing the clips, snap it into place. Now your gasket's in place. We're ready to install it in the volute body. Install it into the volute body. Open up your service valves. Make sure that it's not leaking. It's holding pressure in the whole nine yards. Put your pump motor and your coupler on. Don't forget to oil it. I don't like to measure. Fill the reservoir until it weeps out of the weep hole on the bottom. Leave a towel on the ground for a day or two. Then you know it's full. You're ready to pump some water. And I'm going to smoke. 